all the world's a stage and all the dice snakes merely players. New research finds that the non-venomous, water-loving reptiles named for their dotted underbellies are some of the animal kingdom's most dramatic actors. A bloody mouth and a poop-covered body seem to help the dice snake quickly escape predators. To avoid becoming a meal, some animals simply fake it until they make it. And fake deaths with several unappealing elements may make the whole display more efficient. Because they inhabit so many ecosystems, different dice snake populations protect themselves in a variety of ways. Some individuals have been known to bite, make themselves appear large or flatten their heads to resemble a venomous snake. But at least one population of dice snakes takes playing possum, also called thanatosis or apparent death, to the extreme. Not only will the snakes feign a painful death by twitching and writhing, but they'll soil themselves with musk and feces, then fall limp with their mouths open and tongues dangling. Some will even punctuate the performance by filling their mouths with bubbling blood. These theatrics were observed ecologists at the University of Belgrade in Serbia when watching snakes on the island of Golan Crab in North Macedonia. Published this week in the journal Biology Letters, their analyses add new insight to the study of antipredator behaviors. The variety of mechanisms that prey species have adopted to protect themselves from being eaten. Faking death comes with a high risk for the snakes if the predator is undeterred, but it also promises a high potential reward of escape. They really commit to the role, depending on the individual. On Golem Grade, which is sometimes called Snake Island, the dice snake's main predators are birds. Like the reptiles, the two scientists also did a bit of acting. They captured 263 snakes by lunging at them and grabbing the middle of their bodies as avian hunters would. They gently handled, stretched and pinched the snakes then, mimicking a predator having second thoughts, the researchers placed them carefully on their backs, moved a distance away. Researchers observed that just under half 124 snakes total snared feces and musk on their bodies within 30 seconds of being captured, while about 10% 28 snakes bled from the mouth. Just 11 snakes committed to all three defenses poop, musk, and blood. Researchers also noted differences in how individual snakes faked their deaths. Those that didn't employ bodily fluids or ordered lay limp for up to almost 40 seconds. The ones that deployed all three defenses committed to apparent death, on average, for two seconds, less than those that didn't. Two seconds might not be a lot but can be just enough for a snake to mount and escape if the predator backs away from attacking it. Even the smallest chance can make a difference in being eaten or not. Spending less time on the death faking, theatrics means the snakes can more quickly get out of the potentially dangerous grip of a predator. While engaging in thanatosis, some snakes were incredibly rigid, while others were so limp the research team could arrange them into hard shapes. Feigning one's own death for the purpose of defense is hardly uncommon in the animal kingdom. Some say it is a conscious response, while others are adamant it is not. One theory is that it is the most primitive defense response, similar to freezing in a high-stress situation. Even humans might do it as is advised when confronted with an attacking brown bear. Some animals fake their own deaths for predatory purposes. A fish called cichlid will lie on the ground until other curious fish swim by, then spring to life and eat them. For others, playing dead might be a way to avoid mating. The researcher's study of dice snakes has prompted further questions from other scientists, such as whether life experience can explain why some individual snakes don't engage in all three defense mechanisms. And scientists still have much to learn about Golem Grad's birds as well. Why are they deterred by dead animals, especially since they just saw them alive? Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed our videos, subscribe to our channel for there's more to come.